My man, are you ready? ready. We're going to Mall Ball. We're going to the beach. Swimming, yeah? Swim, swim. Oh, yeah. so excited. Oh, you're so excited. Let's go to Mall Ball. Let's go. Ladies and boys. Oh, you're strong, huh? Oh, you're strong, huh? Dad is stronger, you know that, right? Dad is stronger, you know that, right? Ah, 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 ah. Swimming up. Mm -hmm. We are in, what's it called here? Molaboyuk? Yep. Lunch time? Lunch time. Let's see what they have here today. Okay, I'm gonna have this. And they have. What's the name of that again, Jessa? Bucky. I want that and this. And something, something. Let's see. Well. Oh, this is fish. Mm, yum. What is here? Pork. What do you want, Jessa? We can share pancit. I want this and pancit. Should we have some something, something like? What about some of this? Liam, let's start, right? We can ask for soup, Liam. Huh? What is that, fish? Yeah, just small fish. Mm. Here. Soup. Okay. No just rice? You want rice? No? No, it's just a snack made before we get to Panak Farm, all right? One. Yeah. Just so we're not super hungry. Okay. Sabarani. You want this too? Yeah. Sabarani. Yeah, Sabarani. Some fancy tons of vegetables. Okay. And some soup water for my boy with his rice. Yeah? Yep. Simple but good. Here is our fancy. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. And our. What's the name of this again? Malaya. With eggs, with a little bit egg in there, yeah? yeah? And we share a mountain dew. Mm. When I say we share, I obviously talking about me and your son. What are, I mean... <laughs> That is the way it's gonna be, right? Yep. Yeah. Motorbike very, very dirty today. So, we're gonna wash it. Yes. Should we go over there? I see if it's open first. I may be over if it's open. Have a coffee. Okay. This is one of the problems here in the Philippines. A lot of these small, nice places. They kind of open when they feel like it. More often than not, this place is closed nowadays. Anyways, no coffee for me. We just get the bike washed and then we go to the mall. Just the blue over there, if you can see that. Buy some slippers, because I have no slippers left. And then, and then we go to the beach. And FYI, I completely forgot to shave today, so you just have to survive looking at that. And here, yes, I look at that woman. Huh? Look at this, look at that. Ah, copying me, you buying copy. same camera. You copying when I see oil. I'm the one buying first. You copy, copy. Copy, copy. You just bought this. Oh, that's all. It's two pesos each, and they're delicious. Mm -mm -mm. 25 peso pieces for 50 pesos. That's uh, one US dollar or thereabout. Here we go. Bike is clean for a total amount of 100 pesos. When is that cheap? I don't care. Doing it myself. I never wash my car or bike in the Philippines, it's so cheap to have it done for you. 
Ben, you go. Let's go. Go. They're good. They're delicious. And after that, burger. small burger. Just snack me because I was a little bit more hungry. I guess, sir. Uh, I guess there's something wrong with you because you didn't try chicken. Mm. <laughs> Let's eat, gentlemen. That's it. After this, we go swim, swim. Oh, here we are in Panagsama. We're gonna go. I'm gonna do some snorkeling here. Yes, I'm gonna swim a little bit with our boy after I'm done because I'm gonna test out my new camera underwater. Anyway, Panagsama really isn't a charming place it used to be. Not only have all nightlife gone from along the water to a side street up there, right? Yeah. It's not the same as it used to be. And uh, what do you feel for prices uh, in local? Local store today, yeah? A bit expensive. Yeah, so Liam got the ice cream, 25 pesos. The other store wants the 30, and uh, it's a knockoff brand or the cheap brand, and everywhere else it's 10 or 15, right? Yeah. And. Cola Zero. They, one can of Cola Zero, they want 100 pesos. That's more than I pay in nice restaurants in Cebu City. In nice restaurants, I pay 80 for it. That's the maximum. And I want 100 pesos here, and it's just a local store. 100 pesos. Yeah, 100 pesos here. And I just... They're gonna lose all the tourists if they keep doing this, because this is obviously not Philippine prices. I mean, it costs a couple of 40 in 7-Eleven, 30-something pesos in, in a store, in a supermarket. And here, 100 pesos. It's not that I can't afford it, but I feel it's like taking advantage. It's overpricing so much that uh, I feel they're pricing themselves away from, from the tourists. Because these days you can't do this because we have internet. The world has become so small. And uh, the words of this, this bullshit gets out. And unfortunately, the, the, there will be no more visitors if uh, they keep doing this. So I checked the price. The price for beers for in uh, in the nightlife here is between I think it's 80 to 110 pesos, and I guess that is normal nightlife prices in popular districts. So that's fair enough, I guess. I I am not paying 110 pesos for a beer in the Philippines, but there are people who do that. Anyways, we're not here for that. We're here for uh, checking out my camera and enjoying the beach. Or, it's not really a beach, but uh, you get my drift. Ah, oh, finally here. And it's quiet, relaxing. It is beautiful. Nice view from our chairs. I'm going out snorkeling. And Jessa uh, tells me that the uh, nice snorkeling mask has been eaten by a rat, so pink it is.
snorkeling done, it was nice being back in the water again and uh, if you have a look out there, I don't know if you can see it, but just out there, Liam and Mama Jessa swimming, enjoying. So I didn't really see any turtles today, didn't see the sardines today, but I was at the edge, the wall, and uh, I don't know, that's not really why I was here today anyway. This time it was all about testing out my new camera. It's supposed to have very good colors due to built-in um, color correction sensor. I think that's the name of it. Uh, I might be wrong about that, but it is a, it is a sensor that's built in that other cameras don't seem to have. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that because when I was uh, snorkeling with GoPro, it took a lot of uh, work because if not, it was just a green, messy, ugly look. GoPro really sucks these days compared to the competition. It seems like even Ace Pro 2 seems to be better, even if it's only 8-bit. Anyways, my plan now is to sit down, maybe have a coffee, enjoy this beautiful view and uh, probably just sit here and enjoy the sunset while we're here before we go have a nice dinner and uh, drive back to Genatilan. Liam done swimming. Have fun. So any torta? You did? Lying. Liam saw torta? You have it on camera? Yeah. You better. If not, if not, I'm not believe you. So Liam's a turtle. He loves turtles, that boy. I bet he's a happy camper now. That's pretty much all I had for you today. On the way home, we found a small local Tivoli. They are uh, traveling from barangay to barangay when there's occasions, which to be fair, in the Philippines, is always an occasion. So these small traveling Tivolis like this, they're very, very busy in this country. Let me tell you that much. If you can see it here, Liam is in the trampoline, jumping, jumping. And on that note, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. If you liked it, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell for notifications when new content is up. Follow me on Facebook and if you like my content, take the time to like, share and comment on my videos on YouTube and Facebook for that uh, algorithm feeding. It helps me out a bunch. Also, take advantage of my 100% free website, earthoftomorrow.com.